Hey guys, so a guy named Pertech on my Discord posted a quick clip of him doing this new mechanic, which I thought was super sick. Essentially, you're jumping off the wall in a way that you roll your wheels so that all four wheels touch the wall as you take off, so it gives you a flip reset. This is more of a breakdown than a tutorial. Uh, there's still a lot about this mechanic to discover, but I want to give you guys a general idea of how it works so that you guys can get out there and uh, mess around with it and see what types of applications you can get from it. So Pertech put out this clip, it was pretty short, it was hard to tell what exactly was going on, but he was super nice, I asked him for some advice, he gave me a bunch of tips, he said I could make a video on it, and I spent the last four days grinding this, and I'm talking like probably 10 plus total hours of just hitting this move over and over again until I really got it, maybe hundreds thousands of times. So, so far it seems like it's a similar concept to the hell jump, where essentially you're jumping off the ground in a way that you roll back up and you get a flip reset off the ground. I'm still not sure how viable it is in an actual match scenario, but I think it definitely has more utility than the hell jump just because you're conserving your momentum and boost to take off. And I'm calling it the roll reset because of the way your car's rolling off the wall to maintain that flip reset. Alright, so we're in a replay so we can take a look at the move. To start, what we're going to do is approach the wall, jump, collide with it at a slight angle, making sure that you're holding power slide the whole time, and then as you collide with the wall, you'll jump again. And we'll get into the nuances of the timing and angle here in just a second. The second jump is going to be an empty jump though, which means you're not holding any direction when you jump. Finally, after you do your second jump, you'll air roll with your momentum, in my case I'm air rolling to the right here, away from the wall so that you don't stick to the wall. Now to start, I'd recommend practicing just the raw mechanic here first without even touching the wall. Just go through the sequence of jumping, holding power slide, jumping again with no directional input, and then very quickly air rolling afterwards. The timing and the angle are super important, but I kept getting tripped up on the actual mechanical sequence, mostly because I would hit side flip over and over again because I wanted to roll and my brain was telling me that the only way to do that is to side flip. So I kept ending up air rolling too soon right before my second jump instead of after. So doing this raw sequence for a bit helped me a lot. I also recorded the whole process of me learning the move over that four-ish day span. There were some great clips in there, some valuable learning points and progression, as well as some general funny moments. I'm going to clip those together and put those out in a new video as well. Next, we'll get into the nuances of the timing and angle. First, if you made it this far, if you could consider helping me out with either a like or by commenting down a sweat emoji if you plan on grinding this mechanic like I did, I'm still such a small channel, so this type of engagement helps out a lot. Feel free to check out my other videos as well. I'm actually a professional tennis and sports psychology coach, and I've been coaching Rocket League for almost two years now. The videos I make are mostly tips on how to improve in Rocket League from a sports psychology and traditional sport perspective. So in terms of the timing and angle here, this is the area where I think we still have a lot to discover. Myself and Pertech are still working on getting it more consistent, but I'm hoping that by putting this video out and having others try it, we can start to learn more about it and it can continue to grow. I've personally had the most success when I make sure that I'm approaching the wall at a pretty steep angle, almost driving next to the wall rather than driving straight at it at like a 90 degree angle before I jump. And then I try to collide with the wall with my car at about a 45 degree degree angle. You're trying to get your back left wheel to hit first, and the collision should make your car almost roll onto the wall naturally anyways. And then for the timing, you're going to do your second jump after your first two wheels hit and just before your other two hit the wall. If you're getting shots that look like this, then that's a good sign that things are going well with the timing and the actual mechanical sequence. It just means you need to change the angle of approach that you're hitting on the wall and make sure that you're air rolling off the wall immediately so you don't stick to it. So that's pretty much it for the video. Um, again, I think there's still a lot more to do with the move for it to get consistent, but I think there could be a lot of utility with this, so it's really exciting. Um, I know I'm gonna keep practicing it. I hope you guys get a chance to try it as well. Please share with me if you discover anything cool about it or you're able to hit it in a match or um, just a good shot in practice. Uh, feel free to tag me or message me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm at Team Flow State for both of those. Of course, if you like the video, you know what you can do to help out the channel. Channel. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching guys and go practice.